right folks, welcome to this exciting video where you once again join us in the wild countryside of Scotland. Today we're joined by the child AJ and we've just noticed a crazy piece of abandoned history hidden in the middle of a field which has been freshly combined so it's perfect for exploring because on these adventures we never like damaging crops or can trespassing on people's property so literally it's the perfect opportunity to explore this and it looks like an old abandoned ducat which we do love on the channel so yeah we're about to just head on round check this out folks over in this field we can see the ducat it's a grand ancient abandoned structure and at the opposite side of the main road we could see that there was a, a grand mansion house and that'll be what this ducat was related to because all Scottish mansions at one time a certain time in history they had ducats for they used the bird dung for making gunpowder so yeah it was a law and that was an interesting fact that I found out from one of my subscribers or one of the viewers commented so it's cool to share history like that I'm jumping over the bouts here, folks, in the field. We don't want to damage the bout. Because the boy will be coming along to bail this pretty soon. We are just wanting to document this ancient history here, folks. And it's mad the places we end up going. Look at this landscape. It's crazy, folks. It's crazy how the trees are growing out of this ducat. What a special place, it's got two doors. Some of the ones we've seen only have one door. But all these ducats are in different conditions. It's almost like when we find ROC bunkers, each one's a different level of decay. But the cool thing with the ducats, they're all a different construction slightly, different architecture. And sometimes it matched the, like the architecture of the big house or the mansion that it was related to or owned by it's just left the bouts there down in the hollow and I'm just thinking maybe that's because they were a bit of damper if the wind's no been getting down there to dry at the same look at this magnificent construction folks abandoned history at its finest once again documented on the channel and it's such an adventure to come to these places see what's left of the history amazing folks check out the old building the old stonework quite a, a lot of the ones we've seen have got these like stone slabs around the top wow this is absolutely insane folks oh yes i love seeing this they're all in different conditions but look at this one this is the way nesting holes that the birds would have been nesting in each one there would be a little nest Hey, what an atmosphere a place like this has, eh? A little bit of abandoned history, just hidden and forgotten. And most times of the year, you wouldn't be able to access it because it's in the middle of the field with no road to it. See, I think they had See, I'm not sure what they would have had. They might have had wooden ladders or whatever within. It's crazy how the stones are just decomposing and falling away, crumbling. And that tree is just growing in the middle of it. It's crazy how it's all made out of stone, eh? Yeah. Incredible they masonry. Must have, they must have built, like, built that while they're building the outside structure. Yeah, with the slabs oh, yeah. kind of within the sandstone. You can see it there, eh? Like the sandstone's kind of in the middle of it. Yeah. Wow. It's cool to always document the history of this, folks. Before it's forgotten and Nature can often take its course on a place like this and it just gets knocked in. See the tree could fall and like bash it and crumble it. Wow, this is so cool. Look at the old remains here of the door hinges too. It's probably had a wee wooden door or something on it at one time. Yeah, look at that, there's been like a latch or something going in there. It's like there's trees growing at both sides of it. Wow, it's like a proper like little jungle scene inside these things. 
Whoa. See, this is almost like what I was at the Bar on the Moon one there a couple of weeks ago, and I think this is what it's been like. Very similar to this, because it had a strong internal wall like this as well. It must have been in like two halves. See, there's a bird being actually nesting up there, so it shows sometimes nature and stuff can still get the use of a thing like this. Think of the dust and stuff for that. Probably if you came and opened the door, they'd start flapping a bit. Yeah. But I think they had openings in the roof where they were able to actually come in and out. In, yeah. And there would have been flocks of them. And I think the families at the big house would have also like eaten the pigeons and their eggs because there would have been surplus pigeons back then. They'd be breeding and probably a, a place like this would fill up pretty quick. Yeah. So cool to see it though. And like, Documenting a little bit of history, folks. We're in Aberdeenshire this week, and it's crazy to see. Look at that spider web under there. See the way the stones are stacked up inside it, Tay? Oh, aye, they go in a good four inch or something there into the outer wall. Yeah. So it's totally locked together and secure. That'll be how these walls are probably so strong. Wow. The toppings, I think, have been most likely broken from the branches blown with the wind. Because it's quite, like, out in the open, this thing. So probably the wind's blowing the top of these trees at times. See, the shelf is just right there, can they? Oh, on the, yeah. on the outside? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's something they seem to have done when they were building these things. Yeah. That They all have that, like, slab layer around them. This is crazy, folks. Oh, hey, look at the shape of that yeah. end stones up there and stuff. Right, folks, I just walked around this and got a couple of pictures and that, and we're going to head. We'll walk around the back of it and here look, see if there's any history that we're missing, and then we'll get out of here. To the landowner and the Duke of owner, we'll come with the greatest of respect. We love just looking at the wee historical nuggets and it's a perfect opportunity when the field's been combined because I would never come in when the crops is in there doing damage and stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's maybe what that has been for on the ducats. So they could sit around the outside edge. Wow, that is... That's well thought of that, like, that's the sort of history that we love uncovering. Yeah, the pigeons could have chilled out there. Because there wouldn't have been all these pylons back at that time running past. Just check this landscape out, it's magical at this time of year. All these fields have been freshly harvested. And pretty soon they'll be ploughed and then replanted. And that's farming. Oh, it looks like there is a big... Some sort of big building over that way too. Yeah, anyway folks, check this out. Another bit of history documented. It's been a crazy adventure. And we're just away to head on back out. We just came in alongside this farm that's here. We could see this from the main road. And that's how these adventures often go. It's cool just to document the things that's a wee bit harder to get to for the common person. And it's history that's just getting lost. Every year the trees are just like knocking bits of it down. Stuff just falling off it, so it's crazy. And it just looks amazing with the trees coming out the top. That's the grain dryer firing up. You can hear a roar from over here, folks. Check this out, folks. This is a crazy mission. Once again, we're always sending it into the crazy, unforgiving, wild landscape of Scotland, folks. Trying to bring the, the footage, the locations. And we end up in crazy conditions like this. You can see now at this time of year, the grass and stuff is starting to die off, which is a good thing. Because it's crazy trying to explore at this time of year, folks. That's crazy, folks. We've made it to the other side of that forest. This is that kind of grain shed that we were just making our way around the edge of. And the wee Honda's just chilling up here at the roadside. It's an absolute madness. That, that duke, it's kind of located near, what is it, Mary Kirk in Aberdeenshire here, Scotland. 
It's been a crazy adventure. It's been a short in, but it's been cool. So I'll end it here. Goodbye for me. Goodbye for the channel, DJ. And we'll catch you very soon in the next adventure, folks. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. It's a lot, it's every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see what the negativity but I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go